What? Edie Shalou, are you related? Yeah, she's my cousin. Edie yeah. How many Shalous do you think there are? I, I grew up next to Edie Shalou. There's two families of Shalous in the United States, <laughs> ours and the Edith Shalou. It's amazing. She's a writer, isn't she? I don't know a lot about my family. Doesn't she write? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> she's like, I, didn't, I don't really care. <laughs> Not that into Edie Shalou. Uh, we don't know our, our, our family. I think a lot of people, I think like Italians and Jews know my, my wife is, uh, you know, they, they know their family more, their cousins, they all know each other. And my cousins are like, I couldn't really pick them out of a lineup, really. <laughs> we're not as close. Irish Catholics are not that way. Are you Irish Catholic from Acton? Yes, see, we're all that way. The good thing about growing up in a monolithic community, were you from Situate? Yes. And was it very, is it Irish Catholic there? Yes, a lot. You know what's good about that? Is then every culture that you're exposed to is that much more exciting. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, when I was a kid, me and my brother get all excited that one day a week in the summer months, we'd have taco night. <laughs> we'd put on our guns and be like, Andre, Andre, Iba, Iba. <laughs> it's taco night. And it was just hamburger helper in a frozen taco shell. <laughs> But that was Mexican fare to us. <laughs> the little Fritos on the side, right? Fritos was Mexican food to us. <laughs> Fritos, me and brother would be like, oh, it's spicy, ah, huh? caliente. <laughs> what they put on there, those Fritos, they were hot. <laughs> Fritos in the 70s. Do you guys remember who the spokesman for Fritos was? Bandito. The Bandito, right? <laughs> The Frito Bandito, he was on the bag. I tell my, you know, a lot of my b b buddies who are comics, they're all younger than me, and I say, yeah, the Frito Bandito, they don't believe me. He was in the commercials. This was the most politically incorrect spokesman <laughs> in the history of salted snacks. The Frito Bandito, for those of you who don't remember, was a three and a half foot tall Mexican thief. And he would come into town with guns blazing. He would steal your Fritos from you. Then he would eat them, he would sit down, lean against a tree, pull a sombrero over his eyes, and take a nap. <laughs> they would never get away with that today. Frito bendita. <laughs>